Hello, my name is Alina, and today we're going to do a gentle yoga practice, just 20 minutes. I hope you enjoy. Let's get started with a gentle warm up. Bring your chin towards your chest and start doing circles with your neck, inhaling to stretch your back and exhale to bring your chin back to your chest. Slow movements to massage the vertebrae on your neck. Inhale and exhale, switch directions. Inhale and exhale. Slow movement, control movement. And complete one more cycle of breath to come back to the neutral position. From here, lift your hands and arms, connect the palms, and exhale to rotate from your waist to the right. Inhale, center, stretch. Exhale, rotate to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, center. Rotate to the left. And complete one more cycle on each side. Right, stretch, left, come back to center, inhale, lower your right hand, curve and lower your body towards the right, creating a C shape with the exhale. Inhale, come back to center, stretch and exhale to lower yourself to the left. Inhale, center, exhale. Lower your body. Inhale, chest is proud. Exhale. And one more cycle of breath on each side. Come back to center. And finish on your left. Return, stretch, and lower your hands to your thighs or knees from here. Start doing circles with your torso. Inhale forward, flat back. Curve your spine with the exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, exhale, and complete one more cycle. It's okay if your hips or back are cracking. We're just lubricating our joints. Switch directions. Inhale forward, chest is proud. Exhale, big curve in that spine. Inhale. Exhale and complete your last cycle. Return to center. From here, place your hands in front of you, untangle your legs and land your body on table pose, Badmantana. Make sure your shoulders are above elbows and wrists, hips above knees and toes connected to the mat. Start Transitioning from cow with the inhale to cat with the exhale. Inhale, arch your back, look up, lower your belly towards the ground. Exhale, curve that back, chin to chest, tops of the feet on the mat. Continue at your own pace for a couple of more cycles. Always inhale with the cow and exhale with the cat. Finish one more cycle. Exhale, cat. And return to your table. From here, inhale to transfer your weight towards your arms. Lift your knees and elbow and start to straighten those legs. Then walk the dog as we prepare for our first downward facing dog of the practice. Stretch the back of your legs, feel the strength in your arms, and use the next inhale to point your tailbone towards the sky. Try to bring your chest close to your thighs and exhale to lower your heels towards the ground. And remember, it's okay if your heels do not touch the mat. They can be here. It's the intention what matters in yoga. 
Inhale one more time. And exhale to start walking your hands towards your feet and dangle like a rag doll. Let your arms fall naturally or hold on to your elbows with opposite hands. Relax your neck and start saying yes and no with your head. Complete one more cycle of breath. When you're ready, start to lift vertebrae by vertebrae. To stand on mountain pose, your head is the last thing that lifts. Roll your shoulders back and down. Shoot energy from your fingertips towards the ground and breathe. From here, walk towards the center or the front of your mat as we prepare for a mini sun salutation. Inhale to lift your arms, connect the palms, arch your back. Exhale, bend from the waist, back is straight and start to curve it as you get closer to your legs. Forward fold, inhale, number seven. Exhale, forward fold, inhale to return up. Open your arms, arch your back, upward salute, and exhale to return to your mountain. Let's do that one more time, a little bit faster. Inhale, lift your arms, connect the palms, arch your back. Exhale, bend from the waist. Curve that spine as you lower yourself to forward fold. Inhale, number seven. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come back up. Open your arms, connect the palms, arch your back, and exhale to come back to mountain. From here, use your next inhale to sit on your imaginary chair, tailbone towards the ground, belly button towards the mat. Make sure you can see and move your toes. Activate those glutes, activate all the muscles in your legs. Straighten those arms, inhale, exhale to lower a little bit more. Inhale one more time and exhale to lift, shake up your legs a bit. Use your next inhale to sit back on your chair just for one cycle of breath. Inhale, exhale. With your next inhale, bring your hands towards your waist. Bring your right foot back. Both feet are on separate tracks. Imagine you're on a train track. Your left foot is pointing forward. Your right foot is close to the back corner of your mat at 45 degrees. Chest and hips facing the left. Inhale to lift your arms, stretch, and exhale to lower yourself towards the ground, warrior one. Use your next inhale to touch the sky and exhale to open your arms in cactus shape. Arch your back, let your heart shine. Let's do that again. Inhale up, exhale, chest is proud. One more time, inhale up. Lower your hands towards your waist. Exhale to come back to chair. Inhale and exhale to lift. Inhale to sit back on your chair. Bring your palms to heart center, elbows up, and exhale to rotate from the waist towards the right. Connect left elbow onto your right knee. Look to the side, twist the chair. Inhale and exhale. Complete one more cycle. Exhale to come back to center. Inhale from the center and exhale to turn to the left. Tailbone is still pointing downwards, belly button towards your spine. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. Inhale one more time. Exhale, come back to center and stand up to return to mountain. 
chamber leg. I'll switch angles one more time so you can have a different view. Inhale to go back to that chair. Exhale, bring your hands towards your waist. Inhale to bring your left leg back this time, left foot at 45 degrees, close to the edge. Right foot points towards the right, right knee directly above your right ankle. Chest and hips point towards the right. Inhale to lift your arms and exhale to lower warrior one. Inhale, touch the sky. Exhale, open your arms and cactus shape. Let your heart shine. Inhale, up, stretch. Exhale. Arch your back, chest is proud. Inhale to lower your hands towards your waist and exhale to come back to your chair. Inhale and chair and exhale to lift and come back to mountain. From here, walk back to the center of your mat and walk or jump to open your legs wide. Inhale and exhale. Use your neck, inhale to push your hips forward, arch your back, look up, and exhale to bend from the waist, the elbow towards the back, back is straight. And when you need it, lower your hands, try to keep that back as straight as possible. Inhale to stretch forward, and exhale to bend your elbows. Walk your hands to that invisible line that connects the arches of your feet, with your next inhale, walk your right hand to the center in front of your mat and exhale to open towards the left, lift your left arm and try to align it right on top of your right. Gaze and chest start to point towards the left, twist in from the waist, push your hips back, feel the stretch at the back of your legs, inhale to touch the sky, Exhale to push back. Inhale one more time. And exhale to switch arms. Put your left hand now in the center. And exhale to open towards the right. Your right arm is now stuck on top of your left. Twist from your waist face towards the right. Inhale to touch the sky. Exhale, push back, feel the deep stretch. Inhale one more time. And exhale to lower your hand. When you're ready, start to lift with the inhale. To straighten up your back and head, shoulders back and down, and jump or walk to come back to mountain. From here, use your next inhale to bring your arms forward, palms face down, arms are straight, and start to lower towards the mat, bend the knees, tailbone points down, fight gravity, feel the strength in your legs, activate those abs, lower slowly, slowly, and sit back on your bum, and connect the soles of your feet in butterfly pose, inhale, and exhale. Use the next inhale to sit up tall, roll your shoulders back and down, open your chest, bring your heels towards your pelvis and lower your knees, opening your hips with the exhale. Inhale, exhale. You can open your feet like a book and massage the soles with your thumbs and breathe for a couple of more cycles at your own pace and close your legs. Give yourself a big hug. I'm changing angles one more time to show you how to strengthen your back with the inhale. Give yourself a big, big hug. Try to close the gap between your thighs and your chest. Bring your heels closer to your glutes if possible. Inhale and exhale to straighten your legs in front of you. Toes point towards the sky. 
Inhale to lift your arms up and exhale to lower your hands. Inhale to walk your hands towards your feet or ankles with your back straight until you reach that point of resistance and then start to curve your back, bend the elbows with the intention of bringing your chest and face towards your leg. Use your next inhale to lift up and exhale to walk your hands back, lower them towards the mat and sit in staff pose dandasana. Inhale and exhale to start lowering vertebrae by vertebrae towards the mat until your whole back is connected to the ground. Activate those abs as you lower and rest facing up. Use your next inhale to bend your knees again and give yourself a big hug, bringing your knees and thighs towards your chest. Balance from side to side. Lower your feet towards the mat and lift your right foot. Connect your right ankle on top of your left knee and let your right knee fall back to open the right side of your hip. Inhale and exhale. If you want to deepen the stretch, lift your chest, grab the back of your left knee with your hands and lower your thigh and knee towards your chest. You can also use the strength of your right arm to push open your hip on the right side a little bit more. Remember, we never want to feel pain. It's okay to feel discomfort, but not pain. Inhale and exhale. With your next inhale, lower your legs again, switch sides, connect left ankle on top of your right knee, let your left knee fall back to open the left side of your hip. Inhale and exhale. If you want to deepen the stretch, remember your option. Hold the back of your right knee with your hands and bring your thigh and knee towards your chest. Connect your back onto the mat. Inhale and exhale. And with your next inhale, come back to the floor. Breathe for one more cycle. Straighten your legs and rest in Shavasana to close the practice in complete relaxation. Breathe in and out through your nose. If you want to stay in this pose a little bit longer, I welcome you to pause the video and breathe for as long as you want in peace and silence or to some music that makes you feel a little bit more relaxed. Slowly start to wake up your body, moving your fingers and toes. Rotate your wrists and ankles in one direction and then in the other. And when you're ready, use your next inhale to stretch arms and legs in opposite directions as if you're waking up in the morning. Exhale to give yourself a big hug and turn towards the front of your mat to rest in fetal position. Use the inhale to lift up with the help of your hands and arms and start to sit back in a comfortable seated pose of your choice. Just remember if your legs were crossed at the beginning of the class, make sure that the one that was on top is now at the bottom to find that balance in your hips. And let's close the practice with your palms close to heart center. Lift your elbows, shoulders back and down, chin slightly back. Use your next inhale to connect your hands 
with your intuition, your third eye, that space between your eyebrows, on your forehead. Inhale one more time. And exhale to lower, bend from the waist. Recognizing the light that lives within you and the light that lives within each and every one of us. Remember, we are all connected. Thank you for practicing yoga with me today. My name is Selena, and I'll see you next time. Bye.